In this video, we're going to be looking at efficiency. So let's start with productive efficiency. This is when your costs are minimized. So you, when you profit maximize, you have the highest level of profits. When you are productively efficient, you have the uh, minimum level of costs. Now this happens where average cost equals marginal cost. Now let's look at it. Average cost is the cost of producing one product, one product out of your so many products. Whereas marginal cost is your um, sort of cost of producing one additional product, let's say. So now if marginal cost is greater than average cost, what that means is that it is not beneficial to you to produce this one extra production because you get more cost than you already have and actually that pushes your average cost up. That's why in the diagram it goes back up. It pushes your average cost up because that additional unit is then added to your average cost which where you add all the costs and then you divide by the number. And if on the other hand average cost is greater than marginal cost, I mean, yeah, if it's greater, you still have room to increase your production because you say, uh, this is cheap, it's not how much it costs to produce our products anyway, I'll produce it, okay, I'll produce another one, and you produce another one, and you keep producing till you reach a certain level when average cost equals marginal cost, and that's when you're productively efficient. The second efficiency is allocative efficiency. Now, this is when price or average revenue equals um, marginal cost. Now, what this means, price, so average revenue, the demand, what you're getting, what consumers think is equal to marginal cost, the cost of producing one additional unit. So if I'm a factory, if I'm a firm producing pens, let's say, and it, the cost of producing this might be two pounds, but I might charge at four pounds, let's say, to make it two pounds product. But the consumers and um, their demand would only be, let's say, for three pounds. So therefore, I'm not producing an allocatively efficient output because where the demand, where the consumers, where, where I should be producing, what consumers think the price should be, three pounds, is not what I'm selling at, four pounds. But actually, I'm still making a profit if that was the case. But what is allocatively efficient is if I produce this pen at two pounds and the consumers actually believe it's two pounds, when these two things equal, then you have allocatively efficient. So if price is greater than what it actually costs to make, then there's not enough quantity there. You should be producing more quantity for that price in order to be allocatively efficient. Whereas if the cost is greater than the price, then you're using too many resources and this is not allocatively efficient. So you should cut back your quantity. Now, both of these efficiency happen in a point in time. So they are like either happen like today or they'll happen next month or they happen last year. They happen at a particular point. There's not something in which it's a long process that's happening over time. It'll be one day you realize actually your average cost and marginal costs are equal to each other. You're productively efficient. Now, the efficiency that takes place over time is called dynamic efficiency. Now, an example of this would be a firm. If they either invest in like capital or new technology or uh, research and development or this technological improvements, these kind of things. And if the firms actually invest in this, then they can be more efficient because a job that um, an employee can do or a machine can do it's probably more efficient from the machine because everything will be the same it can be accurate um, accurate and it'll be more specialized the machine will stay motivated so employee won't so you'll be more efficient that means you can increase your production with increased production you can benefit from economies of scale because that means your firm your business is growing because you're increasing your quantity everything is increasing so you get more economies of scale and when this happens you are moving towards a productively efficient output because with economies of scale you are minimizing your cost by investing by being more efficient you're minimizing your cost and so productive efficiency which takes place over time like through investment in R&D or something is dynamic is a dynamic type of efficiency uh, allocatively efficient just which just happens to be that you know the cost of producing your pen is what the consumers actually think how, how is that happens at what particular time so that would be a static efficiency so Productive efficiency and allocatively efficiency are static examples and dynamic efficiency would be um, would be caused by examples such as investing in capital, human and machinery, investing in R&D, investing in new um, technology and just general techno uh, technological improvements. I hope this video helps. Please visit my blog.